morning YouTube hey it's now it's the first video of the gravely cultivator which you guys chose uh, for me to do the next video series so this is gonna be video number one um, basically just in assessing what I have for parts looking at the condition and uh, basically assessing what I need to buy for new components with regards to bearing seals stuff like that so let's get started <laughs> Alright, here we are. So I have all the parts laid out just to sh kind of show you the kind of three kind of the, the steps. I'm going to obviously videotape it, but I'll kind of show you um, kind of how it's somewhat assembled. Here's obviously, you know, finished part and here's a fully disassembled part. So if you look, um, you know, basically here's the diagram. So I'll let you guys uh, Pause that for a second. So that's the layout. So you see, you know, all the the different pieces, the shafts. So you have end caps, different seals, bearings, um, housing, gaskets, shims, bearings, spacers, couplers, stuff like that. So um, there's a long shaft and then a short shaft and then they're both put together, joined uh, by a coupler. So here it is right here. And so everyone knows if you're gonna go take yours apart, these are left-handed thread. Let me repeat that, left-handed thread. So when you're trying to take these apart, um, don't go righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. It's, it's, I'll just show you, I'll tighten this to the, to the right here. It's this one will loosen up. So as you can see, that's a left-handed thread. So if I go screw it into the you know counterclockwise here, let me get it there. Left-handed. So both sides are left-handed. So just remember, and there's a flat on one of the sides. So so, like I said, so if you look at the diagram, you have a, you know, a left, a short shaft, a coupler, the long shaft, and then basically the, uh, you know, this angle gear right here. Um, basically what comes down to it is in the gearbox is a shaft, oh, sorry, a shaft like this. This one's a little beat, but it comes down and mates with it inside the gearbox. This one's a little, this one's definitely, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to save this one, as you can see. Um, the bearing race or whatever is welded on it, but I'll take a look at it and see, but more than likely I'm not gonna be able to uh, use this one, but I should be able to save the gear. I mentioned in the last video, I did find the part. So this end plate here has a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, a, sorry, a spring or a, a C-clip that goes right in this area like this. And as you can see, I busted mine out. So I was using my 20 ton, so remember, it was just all caked with oil. So um, I didn't have drawings at the time and I just assumed it was the bearing that was left. I was trying to push out a bearing and lo and behold, popped boom exploded it so this part is trash and I'll just give it to my buddy so he can recycle the metal but so you have you know your vertical shaft you have spacers you have more spacers you have end, end dust caps basically is what they are and you have a vertical housing your upper housing which this this one I think these are both in good shape um, I haven't damaged these this one is just this was in a really rough shape, so it's got a fused bearing in it. I think I can chip it out and then press out the races and stuff like that. So I might be able to save this one. But if not, this one right here will do the job. So basically what I'm going to do, so when you hook all these up, then it comes to roughly this state right here. So you have 
shims, which this you have shims and gaskets that basically will space the this gear against this gear, so you you know it, it's properly meshing. So that's what these this upper shim gasket is. You have your end caps. This doesn't spin, so um, today in this video you'll see me take this one apart just to assess more um, what all the parts I have here. So this I believe this housing is cracked. I believe this housing is cracked. I could be wrong, but I believe it's cracked. Yeah, there it is right there. Now you can see it. Right there. It was right across. The reason these crack is usually people, um, obviously a lot of people leave them outside, water gets in and, and basically just busts it open. So basically as you um, put the pinion gear on, put the bearings in, close everything up, tighten it up, you know, it comes this assembly and then there's the upper assembly which is here and it mates to it like this. So let me put the camera down, set it up, and I'll, um, I'm gonna start disassembling some of these and uh, maybe maybe I'll wire brush these um, before I disassembly just to see what I what goes together. So I have, I guess I could take apart this one and then just leave this one as in one piece just because um, if it, you know, for some reason I, you know, I'm missing a part or something doesn't look right, I can see the orientation from one that's assembled. I even have another one in the shed, so. Um, all right, let me set the camera up and uh, let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna um, try to disassemble this one. I did, I, I mentioned previously that I, uh, I might leave this one just to watch how it's assembled, but actually I do uh, need to take it apart because I need this uh, side plate. Um, I'm not gonna touch these bolts yet just because it's kind of pointless to do. Uh, what I need to do is first, um, um, maybe, I, maybe I'll touch them at one point, but even if I take these off, I'm still locked up between this shaft. So I wanna see if I can actually um, break away this, um, you know, break away this shaft from this shaft on that coupler. So I'm gonna basically heat it up and then uh, we'll try to, you know, um, break it with a wrench. Try it and see what we got. My guess is it's not gonna break, but we'll see. Oh, nope. Well, this is a hex, so let me try, um, see if I have any uh, sockets that I can go in here and use an impact gun. So let me see if I can uh, collect that and we'll see what we got. All right, I was able to uh, locate 
an inch and a quarter socket. So it goes right on there. And so maybe we'll have you zoom in. Uh, I don't know if I can zoom in. I can't do it from this way. Um, we'll see if uh, this breaks it. So just gonna make sure I go into the tight direction. Find out. Well, vibrated out. Didn't break it. So, might have to uh, go up a size. it again. See what else I can do. All right, had to break out the big gun. Um, this is a three quarter inch. So I have a larger connection for it. Airline's still the same, so this may not work. It's maybe a very <coughs> um, short lived attempt, but at least I'll give it a try and uh, we'll see what we get. Um, and I have a, uh, walk down connector, so which I know it's risky. You may shatter this, but we'll see, see what happens. This is my first time using this thing, so we'll see. Find out. All right. So we got probably not enough air, but so I might have to uh, go to the store and get a bigger airline. Yep. That's what it looks like. Alright, we'll give it one more try. It's at full, the compressor is at full pressure, so um, we'll see what happens. Um, worst case, I gotta go down to, uh, I'll go down to Harbor Freight and get a bigger airline for this, so we'll try it. Oh. <laughs> there it is. It broke. Not surprised. So apparently had a little more power, but too much for this. Gonna knock that out now. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh well. Well, let me head down to uh, store and uh, you know get some new air bigger airlines. All right, here we are. Uh, a couple hours later, I've uh, ran to Harbor Freight. I got, uh, you know, an impact reducer and half inch hose. So, so you can see half inch right there, or we can zoom in on that half inch hose. So should have enough air and should have enough strength with this. It's uh, probably going to rip my finger off if I try to do it. So let's see what we got.
baby.